drink. He's apparently very good at it. Chris Jansen on the Antelope Valley's Best Country, 97.7 KTBI. And I'm Shannon Smith now. I told you this was going to happen. So coming up this Saturday, it's Lights, Music, Boots, and Bling. It is the Antelope Valley Hospital Foundation's uh, annual gala. Last year featured Clay Walker. This year, John Michael Montgomery. So many great songs from the 90s. It's going to be a great benefit concert. And this year, all the money raised is going to be earmarked for the Antelope Valley Hospital's Mental Health Unit, which opened back in 1971, and it's the only hospital-based mental health unit in the Antelope Valley. It cares for about 5,000 patients who have mental health care needs. Uh, And basically, it's designed to stabilize patients in crisis, then help them develop the skills they need to eliminate or manage their symptoms. And they need some refurbishing. In fact, the plan is to make a state-of-the-art mental health facility. And that would be amazing. So all the money raised from this benefit is going to go toward that effort. And John Michael Montgomery is a big part of that. He's going to be performing his benefit concert this Saturday, 6 o'clock, at the Antelope Valley Fair and Events Center. And we'll talk about tickets in just a minute, because right now we've got John Michael Montgomery on the phone. John, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for calling us. We do appreciate it. Of course, we've got a very exciting weekend planned with the uh, Antelope Valley Hospital Foundation's Big Gala. We're so happy to have you back in the Antelope Valley. Oh, absolutely. Glad to be uh, coming back out that way and singing some oldie but goodies from the late 1900s. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. So we remembered last time you were here was actually at the Palm de Amphitheater. It was a few years ago. But uh, I remember I was just taken back by how many great songs you have. Once you start singing them, we're like, oh, man, it's that one too. So <laughs> it must be a little difficult when you choose the songs for your shows. How do you select oh, the songs? It's not difficult at all. You know, growing up in a music, musical family with a mom that played drums and sang and dad played guitar and sang. And me and my brother joined right in there, as a, as the old song says. You know, we've always, uh, I've always dreamed of being able to get out there and uh, be able to have a bunch of hits to sing for fans out there and be on stage and entertaining. I mean, yeah, when you first get started and you have your first one, you're going, I hope that ain't it, you know, and you just <laughs> uh, hope that you can uh, keep it up. And and uh, so fortunately for me, you know, in the 90s, I had a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful time during that decade. One of the, I think, one of the greatest uh, decades for country music. And Absolutely. Was able to have some, uh, you know, wonderful, wonderful songs to sing mm-hmm. uh, to keep me in the music business and not have a real job. <laughs> Uh, well, that worked out really well for yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, real well. <laughs> well, we, we love the music. We can't wait to see you. Has your show changed at all over the years, or what kind of show do you have exactly planned for us uh, on this night, Saturday night? Well, oh, well, you know, I mean, I just you know, I just try to sing as many hits as I can, and uh, I enjoy thoroughly being on stage and watching the crowd sing along uh, with some of the songs. And, and uh, it's, it's fun to watch, uh, you know, when I sing the... Uh, love songs and, you know, the people, uh, you know, just um, hugging each other and some of them <laughs> slow dancing and because uh, I don't mind that at all. I, oh, awesome. I encourage it. As a matter of fact, you got room to uh, grab a hold of the one you love and slow dance to one of those love songs, you know, that's uh, growing up in the honky-tonks and bars. That's what, right. what I cut my teeth on is getting people to get on the dance floor. And, of course, the fun tunes like So Wouldn't Be My Baby Tonight, you know, right. they it's fun to watch them try to. Uh, keep up with the lyrics in those two, but uh, you know <laughs> I, the the serious songs like the little girl and letters from home. You know, right. I mean they 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 make your eyes water. You know, yep. and there's so much satisfaction as an entertainer and a and a singer to be able to know that fans are out there that your songs touch them in that way that uh, you know it can bring out uh, all the emotions. And I've been just so fortunate to be out here and still on the road. You know, 27 years later. Uh, Right. Uh, still able to get out there and, and people still appreciate my music. Oh, yeah, definitely. I love the, the transportive quality of music. Like you said, most of those songs are from the 90s, and it instantly takes you back, you know, as soon as you start hearing Cover You in Kisses or I Love the Way You Love Me, I Swear. But all those songs just transport you right back to the 90s, and you start feeling the way that you did back then, and that's what I love about music. So we are so looking forward to your show. And it's for a great cause, helping the AV Hospital and their mental health units get a new state-of-the-art facility. They treat over 5,000 patients who need mental health care each year. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, there's definitely uh, a shortage of uh, 
uh, mental health care in this country. So right. the, for the Antelope Valley to be able to step up and really help out and, and, and try to make that more accessible for folks that need it is, a, you know, I'm very, very excited to be a part of that and help out for sure. Man, we're psyched for the show. Like I said, it's happening this Saturday. Uh, there are still tickets available, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, how you can get your tickets. But, John Michael, thank you so much for taking a little time and giving us a call. Uh, like I said, super psyched to be able to see you this weekend again. Uh, it's been a few years, so uh, we're ready for a John Michael Montgomery show this weekend. Well, me too. I'm looking forward to getting out there and enjoying some of that wonderful weather you all have all the time. <laughs> well, we certainly do lately. That's right. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, we'll see you on Saturday. And again, thank you so much for calling. And we're looking Absolutely. forward to it. Have a great day. Uh, you too. He's great. So for tickets, you need to call 661-949-5810 or online avhospital.org forward slash events. You'll find out about ticket prices, ticket availability, and uh, of course the raffle prize tickets as well. All the information there uh, is at the website. Again, avhospital.org forward slash events. We're coming back with another long stretch of country next at KTPI. Yeah.